Well, I have finally done it. I got a roof nest. And we're gonna go test it out this weekend. Just gonna be an overnight trip, just to see how everything works out. It is the Condor Overland 2. All right, time to meet everybody up. We going to a car show or the trails? Car show. Did you say we're going to a car show? Yes, it's in the woods. Oh, okay. Hi. <laughs> Are you broken already? No. Oh. Having the luxury of the Manus National Forest not far from home, we were able to fill our day trailing under the mix of 75 foot tall hardwoods and red pines. Now the Manus National Forest is unique due to a majority of it is a replant from the 1930s. Most of this was logged to the point of becoming a barren wasteland and wasn't suitable at all for farming. The terrain is mostly forest underlain by sedimentary rocks covered by a mantle of glacial drift, which is a thousand feet thick, and consists of outwash plains, deltas, and old shorelines. 
which makes for our mostly sand trail system. Now you can disperse camp wherever you want as long as you follow the USFS guidelines. And there are a lot of rustic campgrounds that can be utilized. Today I had a particular spot in mind that overlooked the White River. But with the high winds, we decided to head to an alternate that usually has an abundance of off-road traffic. And then Chef Adam, look at that. It's, uh, Coach Pickle. Coach Pickle. Chef Pickle. <laughs> Chef Pickle. Chef Pickle. Pickle Chef. <laughs> All right, say hi to YouTube. Hello. Say hi to YouTube. Hello. <laughs> All right, we are. Where are we? I don't know. Is this Dalton? Uh, Holton. This is not Dalton. Holton. It's Holton. Holton. We're in Holton. <laughs> my phone's this twin leg, but I think that's wrong. That's incorrect. I don't have Really? Yeah, I have a leg. First <laughs> night in the right. rooftop tent. <laughs> oh my gosh, go to bag of bowls. Oh my god, it's so good. Alright, first night rooftop tent was successful and I got something on the lens. Wow. Is that hair on the lens? It worked. Woke up in a whole bunch of condensation. Now, yes, I do have a Lost Horizon four and a half inch air mattress in here and a zero degree sleeping bag, which made the comfort perfect. Now, the darkness of this tent is crazy. I could not see my own hand in front of my face all night long. It was pitch black. That's perfect. Dilling froze his ass off. Brandon was fine because he slept in the XJ. XJ. WJ. WJ. <laughs> paper towel, Shannon? Adam had to pee all night. No, no, no. Uh, so we're in the middle of breakfast and uh, got to see what Chef Adam's making for us. Yeah. Every time I make your eggs, every time I make your eggs, it's there with water. Look at that thing of beauty. We are doing breakfast burritos. I've always used, like when I'm cooking chicken, I'm going to stove in a pan, I all add a little water. Breakfast burritos to trail ride home and do nothing the rest of the day. That's how much of that I'm going to eat. All right, that was kind of crazy. 
it got down to 21 degrees last night for the rooftop tent trial run but I slept like a baby it was awesome and now after breakfast we're heading out by 11 45 it's freaking 64 degrees already it's hot but I had to break down the tent for the for the kids no they're not really kids but they're my kids but overall I love it I do not regret the purchase buy once cry once but the comfort the comfort was awesome and what I did notice compared to sleeping on the ground being up high, I felt, I guess, more secure. Just sleeping on the ground tent, every little noise I heard, I would always, I, I just wouldn't sleep good. So being on the roof, oh, I slept like a baby. I did hear some stuff, but I didn't care because I'm, what, almost seven feet off the ground. So, yeah, I love this rooftop tent stuff. Kind of awesome. For a 24 hour trip, I cannot put into words how much fun this was. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. Hit the like and subscribe button, it really helps me out. Thank you for watching. My name's Shannon. This is Warthog Overland.